the Clarence Iceberg Explained. Clarence is one of those shows that didn't get a lot of recognition on Cartoon Network, receiving a lot of criticism from its audience. I personally believe that it was a great show that went misunderstood, as it had tons of relatability to kids in the lower middle class, as seen in the set designs and humor. The first episode aired on April 14th, 2014 and spanned all the way until its season finale on June 24th, 2018, with a total of 3 seasons and 130 episodes. If you enjoy content like this, be sure to subscribe and leave a like. Other than that, let's get into the iceberg. Bilson's dad committed fraud. Mr. Knowles is a minor character in Clarence. He is the father of Bilson Knowles and the husband of Cynthia. He first appeared in the episode Company Man. There's little known about him since his wife Cynthia explained in Bilson's sleepover that he was always working and was never around to spend time with his son, Bilson, who occasionally mentioned him. However, in his first appearance, he appeared to be violent and aggressive towards Clarence, who he mistakenly thought was his son, Bilson. He was later arrested by the NDP for business fraud and money laundering. Take a look. Hey you, old lady, you work for me, but John Jeremy what? Undercover that is! You're under arrest for business fraud, money laundering! Spencer Rothbill. Spencer Rothbill was the head writer for the animated series before becoming the voice actor for the main character, Clarence. He attended Cal Arts and studied experimental animation, where he made dumb prank call videos and super serious artsy shorts. He replaced creator of the show Skylar Page after his firing. Minisodes. This entry is simply referring to the short episodes of Clarence that can be found on the Cartoon Network YouTube channel. These original shorts are experimental, with a lot of them having different producers. Clarence is mentally challenged. This one is basically a trope for a lot of cartoon theories and is very overused. This theory puts forth the idea that Clarence is somewhere on the autistic spectrum, or specifically has Asperger's syndrome. Their words, not mine, as Asperger's syndrome is technically no longer a diagnosis on its own. It is now part of a broader category called autism spectrum disorder. Is there any validity to this theory? Well, most people don't agree because of his great social abilities, although some say his grades reflect otherwise as he scores the lowest in his class, but what do you guys think? Jimmy and Sumo are related. Jimmy is a minor character in Clarence, as he only appeared in the episode Field Trippin'. Jimmy has a similar appearance and head shape like Sumo, except he has medium brown skin with black bushy hair and is shorter than Clarence. Some say these similarities prove that they are related, and that Sumo would have his hair type if it was lit grown out. Over the Garden Wall and Clarence are in the same universe. This theory explains itself, and is specifically talking about this scene. Other than being an easter egg, some believe that they share the same universe, but what do you guys think? Original Short In 2012, Cartoon Network established a shorts program that allowed the testing of potential new shows for the channel. This is how Clarence got the green light to become a full-fledged animated series on the network. In this development short, not meant to be a premiere release, the characters looked a bit different, an example being Miss Baker having a totally different name and animation style and even Clarence looking strange at moments. An interesting tidbit about this short is that we get to see Sumo's original hair grown out, which is closer to a dark blonde. Clarence is Skylar Page Page created the character Clarence after who he wanted to be growing up, creating a character with flaws who faced real challenges but saw the good in everything and everyone. Page even was the voice actor for Clarence in season 1 after not being able to find a child voice actor suitable enough for the character they wanted to portray. Jeff equals Adam Goldberg Jeff is one of the three main characters in Clarence and was voiced by none other than Sean Jambrone, the main character in the sitcom The Goldbergs, set in an alternate version of the 1980s in Pennsylvania and shows the reality of the 80s through a pre-adolescent. 
Before we move on to the next layer of the iceberg, let's hear a word from our sponsors. This video is sponsored by Honeygain. If you want to treat yourself with some small purchases like a monthly subscription to Netflix to watch your favorite series or Spotify to listen to the Steven Universe soundtrack, you need some dough. And that's where Honeygain comes in. Honeygain uses your internet connection to make money for you. A great way to make passive income. Honeygain is 100% safe to use, has no effect on your internet experience, and they don't collect any personal data about their users. Instead, it uses the internet to gather bits of information from the web, like the best prices on things. Getting started is as easy as signing up with a link in the description, installing the application on your Windows, macOS, or Android device, and lastly, keeping it running until you hit that $20 goal, which allows you to withdraw money to your PayPal or a Bitcoin payment easily. Sign up now and get your first $5 completely free with my special promo code, Book of Alice, or download the app by clicking the link in the description. Thanks, Honeygain. Now back to the video. Character Designs Equal Personality This entry proposes that the designs of the main characters reflect their personalities, and this is somewhat true. Jeff's head is square shaped, most likely reflecting his square personality, always wanting to appease the adults, not wanting to get into trouble, and refusing to have fun, constantly wanting to remain clean. Sumo has a bald head on the other hand, rocks a mean set of sharp teeth, and has some menacing eyes, reflecting his wild and aggressive nature. Clarence, on the other hand, is on the thicker side, with puffy cheeks, revealing his two front teeth, reflecting his upbeat personality, kinda like this guy. Adventure Time Cameo This entry is referring to this specific scene in the show. Check it out. Grab your favorite buddy, it's time for an adventure. Jake is Jake dog, is the adventure is time. Adventure time. Adventure time. Yeah. After this came out, some began speculating a huge Cartoon Network crossover movie, but sadly it never came to fruition and was never confirmed. Tom Blarps This is a Paul Blart Mall Cop movie reference. Check it out. <gasps> Percy equals Onion This is a cool callback to the last iceberg. If you don't know, Onion is a character in the Steven Universe franchise who does not speak much except to his parents, and is always presented as the weird character that does random things. In Clarence, we see a similar character named Percy who has a striking resemblance to Onion, both physically and emotionally. Could they be the same characters in different timelines or just an easter egg? Who knows? Lower Income Representation the creator of the series wanted to represent lower income families, as Rothbell knew that a variety of viewers watched the series, with the only true wealthy kid in the cartoon being Bilson. That's why we always see the kids playing outside with what they already got. Claire Evangelion As described on the Reddit, this is referring to a tiny fun project made by the staff working on the show. Combining the anime Neon Genesis and Vangelion in Clarence, it can be found on the Claire Vangelion Tumblr thread. Skylar Page Essay Claims I'm trying to be YouTube friendly here, so I'm going to be using the acronym Essay, so if you don't know what that means, try Google. In July of 2014, Skylar Page, the creator of Clarence, was accused of Essay by Emily Partridge, the storyboard revisionist for the series Adventure Time. After finding this out, Cartoon Network fired him and replaced him for Rothbill. After coming out with those allegations, others began to speak up as well about their experiences with him. Another source from the Clarence Wiki states, Skylar Page was fired from Cartoon Network for having a mental breakdown and frequently caused by his bipolar disorder after allegations of sexual harassment. Jeff Rowe said on his Tumblr page that Skylar is currently in the hospital seeking medical treatment for his bipolar disorder. Supposedly, he did other things like putting cigarettes up his nose and running around shirtless. There are no videos or photos related to the incident, but it is certain that it happened through posts made by Emily Partridge. In 2016, a friend of Skylar named Mike Toole revealed what Skylar actually did. According to Mike, Skyler stuck an ET hand near Emily's crotch, which resulted in him being fired. 3D Clarence 3D Clarence may be referring to this creepy animation of Clarence and Sumo in a strange nightmare-like sitting. Take a look. The watch.
This could also be talking about the other strange 3D rendered animations of the character, as well as other general 3D designs. And look, someone made a cool figurine. Flacher style animation. This entry is referring to the Clarence episode in which all the characters were redesigned into the old school animation style. The biggest inspiration for the episode were the cartoons Bitty Bop, Silly Symphonies, and Flip the Frog. Not only was the animation style changed, the entire feel of the episode has an old school cartoon vibe. Take a look. One free goldfish, my good sir. Hold on there, Squirt. I could give you the goldfish right now, no questions asked. Deal. Jeff equals Steve. This entry may be referring to Jeff's physical similarities to Steve from Minecraft. This is somewhat based on truth as his appearance was based on the video game character. Let's move on to the abyss. Jeff's Moms. This entry is referring to the fact that Jeff has two mothers, being one of the first shows on Cartoon Network depicting an on-screen lesbian kiss, alongside Steven Universe. Supposedly, it was going to be a full-blown gay kiss, but instead it got downgraded to a pick on the cheek. Charlie Brown as Brady Reincarnated. I don't think there's much truth to this theory, though both characters share similar traits, and he was definitely Charlie Brown inspired. He even has an internal monologue like Charlie. I love you, Mom! You goofed it up again. Well, you better improvise. Ah, you are so pretty! Most Hated Episode Stray Ellen is the 35th episode in Season 1 of Clarence, and is considered as one of the worst episodes. In an escalating series of dares, Clarence eats 500 hard-boiled eggs, delighting the kids around him. As Clarence grows sicker and sicker, the kids get more and more grossed out, until they want nothing to do with him. When the first episode aired on Cartoon Network Asia, three scenes were edited out due to its gross nature. The episode received negative reception from numerous viewers and fans due to the episode depicting gross content while outright describing the episode being out of place, criticizing Bilson as the reason for it. My Buddy This entry is most likely referring to this video that shows a side-by-side -side comparison to Little Buddy in the show and the My Buddy toy in real life. Take a look. Buddy. Overall, pretty creepy, and I do have to mention the similarities to the Chucky doll from the Child's Play franchise. I mean, the resemblance is unmatched. Pumped Up Kicks This is referencing the Foster the People song titled Pumped Up Kicks that was placed over the imagery of Clarence being depressed, taken from the episode Lil Buddy, which has garnished millions of views. Sumo is a neglected child. Sumo has a total of 12 siblings, consisting of 11 brothers and one sister, meaning that he has to fight to get whatever he wants at home. Due to this, we can only conclude that his parents are financially struggling, some even going as far as saying that Sumo is a neglected child. I guess, take what you want from this clip. That bucket works great. Nothing goes in or out, understand? Yes, sir. Alright, who's hungry? <sighs> Jeff is an incel. This is referring to this scene in the series. I get invited to cool parties, even though Jeff is the social butterfly of a group. And if they would just get to know Jeff, they know he's the best person to have at a party. All right, buddy, it's Naglon. I'll be right back. I was supposed to be the first one in the group to get a girlfriend. I've always been the nice guy of the group. Hold the door, please. This may conclude that Jeff is an incel based on the fact that he states that he's a nice guy and that he should deserve a girlfriend, but I'm not too sure about this one. American Psycho Reference This entry is referring to the scene in which Jeff parodies the infamous American Psycho Patrick Bateman's morning routine. Take a look. I live on Salem Lane in Aberdale, Arizona. My name is Jeff Randall. I'm in the fourth grade. I have my own set of tastes and I like my things a certain way. 
thanks for watching till the end. If you enjoyed it, be sure to subscribe and drop a like. Other than that, I'll see you next week. Later.